So I want to take a few minutes to talk about this story that was recently shared in People Magazine. Expectant mom was lured by a fake ad, then her fetus was from her womb. This is a story of Ellie Wilkins. I'm going to tell you about her story and then go into cases of fetal abduction. So trigger warning, if you don't want to learn more about this, scroll on. In short, Dinell Lane placed an ad on Craigslist for to sell or give away maternity clothes. Ellie responded. She was seven, seven months pregnant. When she went there, she was attacked and her fetus was removed from her abdomen. The fetus slash neonate did not survive. Ellie did, and she's sharing her story. So head to People Magazine to read the whole story. Now these cases are known as womb raider cases, cases of fetal abduction, cesarean kidnapping, or uh, FAMAE, which refers to which is referred to as fetal abduction by maternal evisceration. Evisceration means opening the abdomen and the contents of the abdomen come out. Here are some things you need to know to try to avoid falling victim to one of these perpetrators. There are cases of these people posing as surveyors, particularly around pregnancy topics, to persuade people to get into their car or for them to enter their homes to conduct the survey. They pose themselves as charity workers offering to give the pregnant individual clothes or formula or diapers, but want the person to go with them to retrieve item, I, these items. Other people have called the pregnant individual's home saying, you have baby gifts that were delivered to my house by mistake. Do you want to come get them? In other cases, they're selling things, baby clothes, maternity clothes or items on Facebook, Craigslist that want the person to come into their home to retrieve them. They're very convincing and seem absolutely harmless. In most of these cases, the perpetrator is not known to the victim. They find some way to get them alone and then cut the baby out of their abdomen, usually at a later gestational age when most of the time the fetus can survive. It's very premeditated and they have a plan for what they're gonna do, how they're gonna do it, what they're gonna do it with, but they rarely have a plan with what they're going to do with the pregnant individual once the baby's removed. These people are also telling family members and friends that they're pregnant, so they're desperate to get that baby. So if you find someone unknown to you who is insinuating themselves into your lives in some way, seems to want to get you alone for in exchange for something, you need to have your antennas go up and don't ever go anywhere alone no matter how nice and sweet they seem to be or what they're offering to give you.